Greetings, and here we are at multiplying fractions, distributive property. You can tell it's multiplying because we have an X, the time sign for multiplication. So here goes with a multiplication. Oh, Ta-da! One times one equals one. Oh, but wait a minute. Most everyone knows that already. How boring. This is about multiplying fractions. All I see are some whole numbers. One times one equals one. Well, uh, this, this is really about multiplication of fractions and the distributive property. I don't see much distribution going on other than scattering some ones across the whiteboard. So I'm going to take this first one and I'm going to split it into two fractions whose sum is one. I'm going to say one-fourth and three-fourths. Uh, this assumes you are familiar with adding fractions that have the same denominator. In this case, four is a denominator of each of these two fractions and to add the fractions with the same denominator, just add the numerators which is a four-fourths, and a fraction really is a division, four divided by four equals one. Then I'm going to put these in parentheses. I'm going to take this other one and uh, split it into, uh, uh, make two different fractions, make it more interesting. Oh, I like thirds. Thirds are cool too. I'm going to make this one-third. I'm going to scoot across this carpeted floor and make this two-thirds. A really wobbly whiteboard. Hmm. Well, we have uh, one-fourth plus three-fourths in the first parenthesis, one-third plus two-thirds in the second set of parentheses. And you're probably feeling very calm and confident because you know the result will be one up here. I am really multiplying one disguised as one-fourth plus three-fourths by one again, disguised as one third plus two thirds. We know the product will be one. So, knowing that you already have the right answer, you can feel totally at ease with all these fractions and operations. Now for the distributive property. And when you learn the multiplication using this kind of method, like 52 times 48, Probably knew to do the 2 and the 8, and then he did a 5 and an 8, and then he had a 2 and a 4, and then a 5 and a 4, he had a cross multiplication. Multiply these digits, cross, multiply here, multiply these digits, blah, 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 and you got an answer, which I think was, uh, let's see, 50 and 48, take away 4, it's equals 2,496 or some such when he did the steps. So anyhow, I'm going to get rid of this. Back to our fractions. All right, one fourth times one third. And multiply the first item in each parenthesis. One fourth times one third. And multiply the fractions. And multiply the numerators and denominators. One times a one is one. And a four times a three is twelve. So we have one twelfth so far. Then I'm going to multiply the one fourth. By the one third over here, you can multiply that first fraction over here, the second one in the second parenthesis. One times two is two. Four times three, again, twelve. All right, so far so good. I'm not going to simplify these because I'm going to keep the denominators the same. It's easiest to add fractions when the denominators are all the same. Now I have this three fourths. I've done the multiplications for one fourth. I'm going to do the three-fourths, so three-fourths times one-third. Three times one is three. And the four times the three is twelve. Oh, one more. One last multiplication, and what is it? Yep, it is the three-fourths times the two-thirds over here. So, we have the three times the two is six. And 4 times 3 once more is 12. Again, since these are all being added, like 1 fourth plus the 3 fourths, 1 third plus the 2 thirds, uh, this is turning into a series of additions outside those parentheses. 
Now the fun, exciting part, adding fractions with all the same denominator. These are all 12, so they're good. Put a 12 in the denominator of the answer. The sum. Add the numerators. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 6. We're expecting an answer of 1. And what number divided by 12 gives 1? 12. Well, we have 12 twelfths, which equals 12 divided by 12, or 1. So, there is an example of multiplying four pairs of fractions. Total assurance, the final sum would be 1. And sure enough, it is. Thanks, and I'm glad you watched.